let's paint a quick picture right on the stages of healing i'm thinking it starts off like you know you're just experiencing life okay you with family with your relationships you know and then that affects the relationship that you have with yourself feel me you realizing like people really got you fucked up you feel me like why i keep attracting these people why my family doing me dirty then i can never have time for myself because of this situation over here and this person wants this for me just draining my energy why is the world all fucked up damn we can't just have world peace like pointing a finger blaming mad mad at everybody mad at the world and then you befriend accountability hmm. and you're like oh it's me i see because i'm a, i'm what i attract right it's me. I must be emitting a certain frequency to bring these energies closer to me. So when I'm the problem, right? And then really attaching to that I am a problem notion, you start shaming yourself, guilting yourself, then being mad at yourself. Like, yeah, you realize that points in a finger, three fingers are pointing at you, but damn. Now you got yourself in a chokehold on trying to fix yourself as if you are this issue and this burden, right? But it's okay because you're taking responsibility. For you and your actions right but still feeling heavy why i thought accountability was gonna fix it i thought it was healing you're just mad at yourself for what existing experiencing so then you get tired of being mad at yourself you just get tired of being mad you get tired of trying to fix fix problem solution problem solution you just get tired of doing, 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 and you just want to relax, right? You want soft life, you know. You want to be at ease. You, you, you then explore different ways of change and how change doesn't have to just come from being angry and fueled with fire and passion and rage, just so that you can shoot up like a volcano and it just destroys everything and then you can have fertile ground to plant new seeds to make the change no you realize that there's another way of existing there's another way of changing changing with choice changing with intention right changing with full awareness and not just waiting for change to happen to you right but changing with like on purpose you begin to realize that there are other ways for change other than fear tactics, other than fear of your security and fearing that, you know, you're going to be judged for not being something or meeting these certain expectations. You realize that in your own space, you brought over old paradigms that is still based in manipulation, control, judgments, ridicule, and that's just too heavy. It just begins to feel heavy being mad and always being full of rage just begins feeling fucking heavy so again you start exploring you know well what else can i do then and it may feel so uncomfortable at first because you were so used to being on goal and so full of that emotion that type of fire that has to ignite and that has to say i'm here to propel you forward and accelerate that was you that was fueling your tank in a car but then you realize like that's not enough you're tired of that feeling like you have to keep being in constant motion and mad just to make a change and present to you something of love you realize that love is already here <laughs> you realize that you are love you realize that you don't have to do too much for change. You don't have to force change is going to happen. You realize that you don't just trust the process. You trust yourself because you are the process. And and then you just let go. And you're not attached to feeling a certain emotion to drive you. You trust yourself to choose whatever it needs to to be made chosen <laughs> that is in alignment with you fully you got tired of being mad at them tired of being mad at the world tired of being mad at yourself 
Now you just want to be. And then intrinsically, you start welcoming in love as the foundation, right? And love is more than just an emotion, right? So it's more firm other than anger and feeling rage and being mad, being the foundation and root for your change. It's more in a grounded foundation of love and trust, right? Those things are more rooted. You feel me? And you don't just have to make change or hear yourself or get the message after rock bottom and after you suffer the experience. You realize that love can change too. So you start walking me in love, right? And I feel like it's learned early on that waiting till that moment of um, volcanic eruption type energy that that's when people heard us. You know what I'm saying? Early on, not feeling heard or not feeling seen or not feeling like you was getting the love that you wanted until you started yelling, until you got angry, you wasn't feeling hurt, so you started yelling and cussing somebody out. So then you start bringing it in your own space <laughs> and making that the root foundation for you to make the changes because you realize that you're heard when you're mad. So I gotta be mad for change. Then again, it starts feeling heavy. It starts to feel heavy. You start to want something different, right? Because that so much fire can make smoke and it clouds you, it clouds your judgment. So it's just like getting into that space of more ease can feel uncomfortable, you know, not accustomed to it. Not, not comfortable in those roots just yet. But then you keep showing up because you don't want to be mad at the world. You don't want to blame the world. You, wanna, you don't want to blame your exes, your family. You don't want to blame yourself. You don't want to be mad at yourself. So you, you, you love anyways, right? You start making change in love anyways. Change in intention and a full awareness anyways. And then you start becoming more open in your relationships where... They want to grow with you in love too, you know, that it's possible to be vulnerable and feel safe. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> I'm still all right. <laughs> like, I'm okay here. Like, I don't have to carry that, that heaviness of mad just to walk them in new. And then in those moments, that's when mad anger or rage becomes just this indicator that something needs to change or where you can widen the lens of perspective right and not as this fuel right not as your reason to go and to keep doing and move at root because those emotions do help us give us that push but depending on those motions, being addicted to those motions to keep you going, to keep the momentum, to maintain your flow is where it can start feeling like it's too much at this point, right? So you start just trusting your own process, your own rhythm and how realizing your emotions are so powerful, right? But they aren't anything to root in but they're just moments of notice <laughs> right and this is why you see this uh societal structure try to control your emotions so often and then we get addicted to feeling like we have to feel something all the time to feel safe you just want to hold on to something even if it isn't good for us we just need that feeling of feeling like we have something and you just let go and you don't become, you let your emotions, emotions have become a master of you. That's when you start feeling lighter and lightening things up. And welcome in in that love, believing in yourself, making the choices to change, making it better for your health. Ah. Don't need to sit in your hell to help you ascend to the top. Know that your light is the spark. 
even when sitting in darkness. I know, I know, I know, change will come, it's inevitable. But I know, I know, I know, change will come, even if I choose love. I don't got to be mad no more. I don't got to be mad no more. No, I don't got to be mad no more. Uh, I can let go. All of what I just said. <laughs> and that's the process of healing. And a uh, couple minute videos.